Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Welcome to my channel, Mr. Reef Buster, and on the episode 5 of the Project Nano Reef. Um, today, I'll be giving you guys some details on what's coming um, in the future for this, uh, for my Nano Reef tank that I have, my 10 gallon Nano Reef. Um, if you guys uh, watched my previous video on episode 4, I discussed uh, about possibly getting a protein skimmer maybe a sump refugium um <clears throat> so today i'm going to shed a light on that um topic from the previous episode now from the video as you can see there's a giant box in front of us and it's got a lot of good stuff in it and um it's probably gonna have more than just a protein skimmer i'm not sure what's in the box yet uh, it just got here a few minutes ago but um, there's a ton of stuff in it that will give you guys a glimpse into what's going to be happening in the future on this Project Nano Reef um, episodes. Now, when I was thinking about getting a protein skimmer um, or some refugium, uh, as as it is with this hobby, um, if you think you're gonna might if you're gonna do something, most likely you are, whether it's good or bad, and then you learn from that. Um, this is kind of what's going on right now. Um, um, I went from just thinking about a protein skimmer to get thinking a whole lot more. And I pulled the trigger a couple of days ago on the items that you guys are about to see. Um, I'll be unboxing with you guys and showing you what I purchased and what's you know what they're for and where this nano tank is going to be heading in the future. So um, let's get started. But before I do, I just wanted to give my two cents on a on something that. Um, I'm very troubled with um, it's with UPS now this uh, I all these items are purchased from Marine Depot um, they were very helpful so shout out to Marine Depot for that um, and it and it came through UPS and I had a problem getting this box um, I have not been satisfied with UPS as service for a long time and no matter any time I get anything and it comes through UPS um, it's rare that I get the item at my doorstep I always have to go pick it up from a drop off location or go to the nearest UPS um, shipping center and go pick it up because the drivers are incompetent in my opinion and and I'll get into details. This box was supposed to get here four days ago. Um, and then I was here waiting for the box. Never came. Um, the driver never rang the bell. He didn't leave an info notice. Uh, so I called UPS. Um, they said they're going to try to make an attempt in the next business day, which is two days after. It was a weekend. It was a Friday. They tried to make the first attempt when supposedly they did, but I was home. So the second attempt was a Monday, yesterday. I was home all day as well, waiting for the doorbell to ring. It never did. Um, 11.30, I checked the tracking status, and it said that at 11.14, the driver supposedly rang the bell, and uh, nobody was home, and he left an info notice. Now, for once, he did leave an info notice. I checked, immediately went out and saw the info notice, but he didn't ring any bell. I called UPS, you know, center, local center, and spoke to a supervisor. Every time, whoever picks up, there's all, they're always a supervisor. Um, and they told me that the driver will try to um, make the drop again later that day before he goes home. Never happened. I called UPS again. They said, oh, the driver didn't have time blah 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 there's nothing they can do about it you have to try wait till next day so today's that day they finally made the delivery but i'm not really happy with their service but let's go ahead and take a look at the stuff so this right here the first thing you're seeing is um a filter kit uh for my four stage brs value rodi system i had to replace it uh so i got this from bulk of, bulk of supply um so i just want to show you guys that since we're going to be unboxing all the goodies and stuff so i just wanted to throw that in that came in as well but on a separate separate shipping um but so let's put that aside and uh let's get into the box and see all the goodies that i ordered um so let me get the box closer to me it's a little far away so this way i can have access to it um just give me one moment while i bring it closer 
Now, I haven't opened it yet. I just, you know, cracked it open, but I didn't really look inside what's in there. So we'll be unboxing together and seeing what goodies I went crazy over at Marine Depot, spent a whole lot of money on. So the first thing uh, we're going to be looking at, let's see what I got here. Let's see. Well, that's the shipping manifest. It tells you all the stuff I bought, which is a lot. Um, let's see what we have here. The first thing, what should I take out? Well, let's look at the protein skimmer. That's the first thing we got. Protein skimmer. This um, is a reef octopus um, BH. Uh, I believe it's BH50 protein skimmer. Um, I got it for my future sun perfugium. Um, like I said, protein, I spoke about getting a protein skimmer. Here we go. My protein skimmer is here. Uh, I think this one is uh, rated for up to 50 to 60 gallons. So perfect protein skimmer for my setup. Let's look in the back. Tells you, tells you all the breakdown for all the parts and what's coming with it. It comes with its own pump as well, so I don't have to buy anything separate, so that's good. Um, so let's put that aside and see what we got next. Okay, ignore my t-shirt. It was a casual day at home. Next up is we have... A two little fishies phosphate reactor 150 so as you guys may or may not know i'm have a little phosphate issues i got a little algae problem so i decided to get myself uh, a reactor um and we're gonna go ahead and i'm gonna be you setting it up as well when i set up the sump and everything so uh, by now you guys already know i'm getting a sump so so why what why hold back might as well get everything uh up next is the overflow box this one is from eShops eclipse s uh series as you can see it's got the dual bulkhead uh, dual drainage uh, one emergency one regular and the good thing about the eShops eclipse s is it comes with its own drill bit so you can drill your own hole into the tank this way it fits the overflow box and the good thing is they give you a little cutout uh, so you can you know size the drill hole properly and make sure it's compatible on the hole the, the position of the hole is uh, in concise with the overflow box so that's that. Um, let's go ahead and see what we what we have next. Uh, Christmas came early, as you guys can tell. Next we have is my return pump. It is the CJ Synchro Silent? This is the 1.5 version, I believe. Um, so this is rated for up to 350, um, th about 350 gallons per hour. So that will be my return pump. We don't need a lot more because it's a nano tank. So. Let's see what else we got next. After and this right here is a, a pump uh, by Hydor. This pump is going to be for the Fosban reactor. Um, so this will work. It'll be connected to the reactor. It'll be in the sump and you know putting the water through the reactor and all. So. It came with it. Uh, it came with the reactor. It's a bundle. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what, what else we have after this. And here we have my return nozzle. It's Axel Water Flow Accelerator. Um, this is the wide version. Um, so perfect for nano reefs. Uh, this way the water just you know shoots the water out in a wider area, covers the whole tank. Um, it's a little it's a little bulky uh for my tank but it is what it is uh as you know as, as long as it gives me good flow uh let's go ahead and see what we have after next and then we have the all-in-one bio pellets now this is for the reactor um i decided to go with all-in-one because it takes care of nitrates and phosphates together so all in one, I was it was recommended by the uh, the Marine Depot staff, so I went one with that. Here's the tubing that I'll be using for the reactor. It's a five feet tubing. Uh, let's go ahead and see what else we have. 
up next and this right here is the Walt Smith Fiji mud this will be going in the refugium section of my sump um, this is about six pound so hopefully we're gonna get a deep um, mud bed uh, in the sump refugium section and up next uh, we have let's see what we got in the box We got a little magnet scraper, the nano version. This is um, this is by Bubble Magnus. Uh, it's, a, it's a very good magnet sca scraper. Um, this was free uh, as a gift from Marine Depot. Uh, since I made a significant purchase, I get a free gift. And so thank you to M Marine Depot for that. Um, let's go ahead and see. Keep going and see what we have next. And this, we have the Brightwell Aquatics um, NO3 plate uh, to export nitrate. So that's going to be going in the sump uh, refugium as well. Um, and let's keep going. And this little box has no writing on it. Um, we'll get to that in a minute. I'm not sure what's in it. I'm going to pop it open. Let's just keep oh, going and see what we get next. Some clamp hose for all the piping. Let's see what else we got. And I also got myself a DIY mat. Now this is for aquariums. Um, it goes under your aquarium, so it keeps the aquarium level. Um, so it's ten dollars. You know, it wasn't. Um, you know, it was an impulse buy. It was ten dollars, so I bought it. Um, it's good to have a mat underneath. Sometimes you never know. And let's see what else we got. Um, so that's it. Let, let's open up that box and see what we have inside. Oh, so the box contained the Brightwell Aqu Aquatics Microbacter. So this um, solution is used. Uh, gonna be I'm gonna be using it for my Brightwell Aquatics NO3 plate to seed it with the beneficial bacteria before I put it into the sump so this way when I put the plate in it's already got bacteria in it and it can start doing nutrient export and stuff so that's all guys so as you can see this is a big haul a lot of equipment and this is not all of it this is just half of it I mean I haven't even um, ordered the other things I need the rest of the plumbing and everything so that's coming next um, we'll talk about it probably on the episode six now thanks for watching until up until now i know probably some of you guys are probably bored but the main reason i wanted to make this video is to give you guys a glimpse of what's going to be coming in the future um this nano project reef tank is evolving as you can see um i pulled the trigger on this giant purchase um because i i want i want to see a bright future for my tank i want to see a bright future so as you guys can tell this is gonna be turning into something you know massive um you know it won't be your you know 10 gallon nano reef anymore now when i was thinking about the some refugium i wanted to i was going to initially just get a another 10 gallon tank buy another 10 gallon tank for like 10 bucks and just diy my sump but then and i started thinking about it you know i ordered all these supplies and well, why go why why go small you know since i'm investing every you know so much money into it, why not make it bigger and better and more sexier so I'm going to leave you guys with this today that I will be building my own tank. My 10-gallon tank, reef tank that is currently there, that tank I'll be using to make my DIY sump. But I am building my own tank. Now, that tank will be twice the size as the tank it is right now. So it will be about 20 to 22 gallons. It will be a rimless, lagoon-style tank. Um... Um, I ordered the glasses already. Um, they're being cut and polished. When they get here, I'm going to drill the holes and start building it together. Now, I won't make a video on how I build the tank and how I build the sun prefusion. There's plenty of videos on YouTube, hundreds of videos, so you don't need me to make another video and bore you with the details. For those of you that want to know about it, you know, look it up. There's plenty of videos as I did myself, so... So there you go, guys. You know, there's a lot coming 
in the future for this tank. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do because we're going to be we're on fast track right now. A lot of videos will be coming out. You know, this whole project is getting an overhaul, as you can tell. Um, on the next episode six, I will show you guys the tank after I build it and the sump after I, well, the sump maybe not. Uh, sump you'll see later. But the tank, you'll see the build, final product of the tank and all the equipment being set up. Um, if you guys have any comments or suggestions on what I should be doing, Please leave, leave it in the comments below. I do appreciate all the comments. Like I said, if you like the video and if you like where this project is headed, leave a thumbs up. I do appreciate it. Um, and, you know, the main important thing is to enjoy the hobby, guys. Um, I know it can be cost, costly sometimes, but in the end product, you know, the end justifies the means. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. Thank you for watching this long. Uh, happy reefing, guys. Enjoy your tanks. And until next time. Take care and peace out.